Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Cherokee headquarters. And today I'm excited to show you this brand new 2021 Jeep Cherokee Latitude Lux package. This vehicle has the 3.2 liter V6 Pentastar motor, which pumps out 271 horsepower. It's going to get you 27 miles per gallon on the highway. It's going to get you 19 city and an average of 22 miles per gallon. Sting gray clear coat is the color. Paint coat is PDN and one of our most popular colors on the Jeep lineup. This one has the convenience and comfort package as well as the trailer tow group. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on now because it's definitely your best way to check out the looks and styling of the Jeep. And if you want to check it out on our website in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website. Click that and check us out there. This one comes with Firestone Destination LE 225-65R17 tires coming on all kind of an all-terrain tread pattern on there. Comes with the silver painted alloy rims, four-wheel disc brakes on the Cherokees. Latitude Lux package gives you the LED headlamps and running lamps standard as well as the LED fog lamps. You get the chrome trimmed grille and Jeep logo with the Lux package. Also gives you the heated seats, heated steering wheel, remote start as well as this uh, heated windshield. So basically it gives you a cold weather group um, right from the you know, package. Has the enter and go system on it. So you just have to have the key fob in your pocket. I got the vehicle locked. If you put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock. So you can just have the key in your pocket or wherever, just as long as it's on you. And then it has the push button start. So you technically never have to touch your keys. Latitude Lux package, here's the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, but just the basics on the left-hand side is uh, you can see the standard equipment, 3.2 liter V6 with electronic start-stop, nine-speed automatic transmission. I, always, I found this interesting that pretty much every Jeep now has the Jeep Wave membership, which gives you oil changes and tire rotations and stuff like that, so pretty cool stuff there. Um, as you can see on the left hand side, all this stuff is standard, the blind spot, cross path, active drive one, um, select terrain system, the heated front seats, power front and driver, power front driver and passenger seats, so the passenger seat is power as well, and they're both heated, you get the premium leather seats, the premium wrapped steering wheel, remote start, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, Sirius XM for six months. Bluetooth, uh, steering wheel mounted audio controls, and then the exterior features include those satin carbon aluminum rims, the tires, and then uh, you get a spare tire with this as well. And then those bifunctional LED projector lamps are standard on the Lux package. Optional equipment, Sting Gray Clear Coats 245, Comfort and Convenience Group is $9.95. The main things there is you get the dual climate control, the 7 inch. TFT color display, the premium air filter, the 115 volt power outlet, power lift gate, security alarm, 8.4 touch screen, and then the universal garage door opener, which is pretty nice. You also get a humidity sensor. Then the trailer tow group is $8.95. Um, you get the full size spare, and then the receiver hitch, seven pin and four pin wiring. Total MSRP is $35,275. If you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen, is a link to that. Uh, three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. There's your fuel economy, 27 highway, 19 city, 22. Average and then overall score for safety ratings is four stars, but five and four stars up and down the board. Cherokee's very safe vehicles. I've owned three of them. I actually loved every single Cherokee I had. I've had a Wrangler too. That was nice. You get the capless fuel fill on the Cherokees. They started that with this new body style. Four-wheel disc brakes, like I said. And as you come around to the back, you'll notice that it does have the rear parking sensors, the chrome-tipped dual rear exhaust, which you get with the V6. Towing package gives you the receiver hitch, four-pin and seven-pin wiring. And then you do get the power lift gate on here. The LED tail lamps as well. We'll turn on the lights later and do a walk around with all the lights on it. So stay tuned for the end of the video there. 
Those seats do fold down nice and flat, and because it's got the trailer tow group, you get the full-size spare tire back here. To get this gate down, you can press this button right here. It'll beep at you three times, and then begin its descent. It actually beeps at you a total of four times, but on the third one, it comes on down. Notice you get the Chrome Jeep logo, 4x4, and Latitude Lux logo as well on the uh, back. So Chrome's kind of the, I guess, uh, trim that they decided to put on the outside, including the Cherokee logo there. Some of them are black, some of them are gray, depending on which package you get. Um, heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring, blinkers in the mirrors. Once again, that enter and go system. You can see every time I put my hand in there, it knows that I'm there. Here are those premium leather bucket seats. Remember, both these seats are heated, both these seats are power. You get the Jeep embossed backrest, and you do get driver's side lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, power rear gate button, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. And as we hop inside here, I'll turn the lights on so that we get a little bit better view of the instrument cluster. You do get that brief brief animation on that 7-inch TFT display. You got your range to empty. You can do mileage, um, time, compass, whatever you want in those two corners. You can put it up there. And then you do get a digital speedometer. But that's a 7-inch TFT display. You get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls on the back. I like the Jeep Chrysler, Dodge, Ram steering wheels, they make them all the same so that all your controls are always in the same spot, whether you're driving your truck or your Cherokee or your Wrangler or whatever you may be driving. They, they make all the controls very, very similar throughout the lineups. You got your push button start, the 8.4 4C radio gives you AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. And with this vehicle, you do get six months from the factory. You got your heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons. You have your backup cam as well. And when you have the full, um, anyways, when you when you got the ignition on, then you can actually check out the backup camera. Those are dynamic grid lines, meaning that you're going to turn that steering wheel and they're going to turn with you. And that center line is lined right up with that receiver hitch so you can get lined right up with your trailer or boat or whatever you're going to be towing um, the first time every time. And then you can do your climate controls here as well. You do get your dual climate controls, which is really nice. You can select your fan speed and all that good stuff. Now, if you don't like doing it up here, don't worry. You can do it down here as well, including your volume and tune controls for the radio. So more tactile buttons down there for old school users. And then you do have all the different apps here. This one also has the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which we saw on the window sticker. So you can project your cell phone to the screen. Why that's nice is if because this one doesn't have navigation, but if you wanted to have nav, all you have to do is project it from your phone. If you've got Waze or Google Maps or some other navigation system on your cell phone, project it to the screen. You can use the screen um, to control it, and then it's just like you have nav on your, on your screen, even though it's running through your phone, which is pretty nice because a lot of people like their phone navigation systems better anyways. And if you want to check out a demo, we did a demo of Android Auto on an 8.4, so check that out. It's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Parking sensors, you can turn those off. That's your lane departure warning, which is pretty cool. Um, alerts you if you're going outside the lines. You can turn that off and on. And then you have your Active Drive 1 system with auto, snow, sports, sand, and mud. You get an AUGS and a USB jack right there, and then that's your nine speed automatic transmission. You do have an electronic um, parking brake right there. And then the key fob does have your rear gate buttons and your remote start right there. You do get a little storage cubby right there. And then your auto dimming mirror and your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems, sunglass holder, and your map lights up there. We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around now that I have the lights on. Back seats, there's always ample room back here. You do have the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have to put back here and then you do get the cup holders which go down nice and steady so they're not going to spill anywhere and then you get two usbs two more usb c's and then 115 volt 150 watt plug-in factory floor mats come with those in the back 
and these seats do fold down and they go almost completely flat it's also um, sewed together here so nothing's ever going to fall behind there which is really nice they go back shut latch nice and solidly get child safety locks on those back doors and uh, i'm just going to go around the vehicle one more time here from the back really good looking color and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully you got a little bit out of the video, learned a bit about the Latitude Lux, got to check out the Stingray on a Cherokee and um, just a little bit about the vehicle. I always like doing these videos especially on the good colors and the good packages. Love those LED headlamps and LED fog lamps and running lights. They really make the vehicle look good but more importantly they shine farther brighter than the normal halogen and just makes it safer when driving at night. Anyways, to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to our website, www.summitauto.com, right there above the vehicle, and check out all the photos and descriptions there. Um, and if you want to check out more videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more Jeep Cherokee videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, link to this vehicle. On our website, click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the brand new 2021 Jeep Cherokee Latitude Lux in Stingray Clear Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.